Hey guys, welcome to Disruptors. Type who and click enter. It will show you all variables you have used before. Type whos and press enter. You will get name of the variables and their size, byte and attributes which you have used before. Now I will explain you about the order of execution. You have already know the board mass rule. Let's take an example of it. 1 plus 2 plus 3 which gives the value as 6. 1 plus 2 into 3. First the MATLAB will execute 2 into 3 and then the value which we got by multiplication will be added with the 1. First it will do 1 plus 2 and then it does the multiplication part. Now let's take some complicated example. This will give you the answer like this. I am taking it as 4 and use caret symbol and then 2 which will give you the square of a number. Let's take a negative number minus 3 power 2 gives you minus 9 because of order of execution. You have to use parenthesis. What is this e? To find out let's take an example 2.4 e plus 3 which gives you 2400. This means e plus 3 is nothing but 10 power 3. 2.4 into 10 power 3 is nothing but 2400. Now 2.4 e minus 3 which gives you 0 0.0024 which means 2.4 into 10 power minus 3 is same. In the most of the engineering calculations, we use pi, but we don't have pi symbol in keyboard. We use pi as pi. If you type capital pi, it shows undefined variable because MATLAB is case sensitive. Pi to the power of 3 gives 31.0063. The MATLAB will do the operation for this and you get 5.6090. You can verify the results in your CALC. Add a new script. 1 plus 1. The MATLAB will treat it as a command and gives you the value 2. If you type percentage 1 plus 1, it will turn green. If you execute it, the whole line will not be executed. It will be treated as command. You can write any command like this at any point of time by using percentage. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, share and do subscribe.